This is one of the most rich and imaginative collections of magic effects I've ever developed. The project includes restorations, transformations, transpositions, vanishes, appearances, and even a levitation. Soda cans and beer cans really are the perfect magic prop. First, they're ubiquitous, they're everywhere. People handle them all the time. They're totally above suspicion. Second, each one is factory sealed and under pressure, so it gives a strong impression that they're tamper-proof. And finally, and I think the most important thing with soda cans and beer cans, is the emotional relations around them, the associations people make. With soda pop, you've got childhood, you've got treat, you've got sweet, you've got candy, you've got good times, good memories. With beer, assuming people haven't had too much to drink, you have an audience, people who um, are very open, very receptive, they're relaxed, and they're ready to have some fun. Perfect for memorable magic. I created string theory as a test conditions linking effect for my stand-up shows. I wanted something that people could see from 30 feet away and involved extremely organic elements. With Unstab, you're so far ahead, the trick's pretty much done before you even started. And at the end, with just a rub of the thumb, when you restore that hole in that can, I always have to hand out the can because everybody wants to closely examine. Break and Enter is one of the most shocking transposition effects I've ever created. Two coins change places inside a soda can, despite the fact that one of the coins is even too big to fit inside the can. Spaced out is a real mind melter. At first, people aren't sure whether to believe it. When they see me move the hole from the top of the can down the side of the can, they're not sure is it really happening. And at the end, when I pour the soda right out of that just moved hole and hand out the can and everything can be examined, People have no choice but to believe. Tin and Bones is my new favorite two-car transition handling. It's so theatrical. I mean, at the end of it, when you crack open that can and show that one of the cards is now inside the borrowed soda can, makes for a perfect closing effect for almost any close-up show. And as for Stretcher, people swear I've somehow melted the soda tab at my fingertips. It really does look like something out of a dream. And at the end, I can either hand out the impossibly stretched soda tab or shrink it right back down to its original size, hand that out, and show my hands absolutely empty.